Hello, welcome back to our Teacup Commentary. Um, today we're going to watch Vincent Ambrosio. Now, uh, we've already done this guy, right? We've done this guy before, right? But I actually have a plan for him uh, because we're watching him again, right? Uh, I do want to do a deeper dive into his whole segment because I did find some information about him uh, lately. So I wanted to kind of refresh my memory and watch everything again, right? But anyway, uh, you know, with that out of the way, of <laughs> my reason of being here, right? Uh, we're going to watch him, right? If you like to catch a predator, check out the channel. Um, I have so many videos already, so you don't need to, you know, go anywhere else, right? But anyway, uh, let's press play, right? Let's just press play. Screw it. Why not? Come on in. <clears throat> you found the house okay? You're Jenna? Yeah. It's different than the pictures. People always say that. I don't know why. Heavy ass steps, bro. <laughs> I like your hat. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, right, sorry. <laughs> so good. Uh, I, like, okay, the video I'm watching kind of has like some intro thing of his messages, right? But we'll look into that at a later time. Anyway, he comes in wearing the most ridiculous outfit, right? He's wearing a trench coat, cowboy hat, cowboy boots, right? A banger outfit, you know? I sometimes leave the house looking like this, right? None of y'all know, but this is, you know, what I dress, you know, when I go places, you know, this is my look. <laughs> oh, Jenna? Yeah. You look different than the pictures. Heavy steps, People man. always say that. I don't know why. Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> I like your hat. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, all right. Sorry. <laughs> we have all day. Sorry, I'm really nervous. How you doing? I'm okay. How you doing? You know, I am so happy we're back watching this guy, man. You know, Vincent is one of those guys that I think about often. <laughs> yeah, very weird to say, but I do think about him sometimes. Like, like even yesterday, you know, because I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I'm, like, sitting in the middle of, cl of class, right? And I'm just like, you know, what would Vincent be doing, right, if he was in this class, you know? This class is hella boring. I don't think he would have the attention span for this, right? Probably texting Jenna, right? Anyway, um, the, the unrobing of his trench coat is crazy. Um, look at what we're looking at, you know, at the screen right now, right? Not attractive at all, Vincent. I'm sorry. We have all day. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm really nervous. How you doing? I'm How okay. You doing? Cupcakes, by the way? <sighs> Ew, man. I know. I like, um, forget how cold it gets every winter, and then it hits. And then it hits. I'm over south. Where to? I want to go towards, like, Texas, the desert. Really? I've never been. Me neither. <laughs> So so, like that explains the cowboy. Poor yeah. chair. Yeah. Poor chair, man. I didn't even realize last time that he sat down, right? That chair must be screaming, right? That chair's screaming, right? Like, I feel like I could hear it through the screen, right? But, you know, I did mention it the first time, but I'll mention it again. Vincent Ambrosio would not last in a heat, right? It, like, I don't know who, who convinced him that he would live comfortably in 100 degree weather, you know? He would definitely not make it. I don't know how cold it gets or how warm it gets in uh, Connecticut, right? But <laughs> Texas weather is crazy. You're either freezing to death, right? Or you're cooking, right? And he, if, if, he's, if he wants to move because he, does, he doesn't like the you know fluctuation, he's not going to like Texas. Like, I don't know who convinced him, but it's such a bad choice. Like, believe me. You don't want to be this big in in summer heat of Texas, right? You'll smell bad, you know. Me neither. But so I like the warmth. That explains the cowboy hat. Yeah, I like the warmth. Yeah. It's too cold up here for me. I don't know. Mom wants to go to the beach. So you're not a Four Seasons person. My oh God. I know. I want to do try Alaska. I do want to try Alaska. I heard it's beautiful up there. Yeah, he likes the. Uh, outdoorsy stuff, stuff though. Mm -hmm. It just you know he's pretty much promoting his friend here, right? Like. Rule 101, I feel like, in the books, right? If you want to talk to a girl about, like, you, you, you're someone you're interested in, right? You don't talk to them about someone else. It is tempting because, right, that's, like, conversations you have with someone you're comfortable with, right? Like, oh, you know, sometimes you have nothing to say. You just say, oh, me and my friend talked about this. Oh, yeah, he, you know, does this. You know, he works here. He, you know, whatever. Don't mention anyone but yourself, right? I know that sounds... You get what I'm saying, though. Like, he's selling his friend more than anything in this conversation. Where he's like, oh, yeah, I want to go I I Alaska. My friend, oh, he's in the outdoorsy stuff. You know, he's this and that. You know, he sure just gave her his number, right? But, of course, I don't assume this friend would take it, right? But I'm just saying, right? No. I don't. I want to do try Alaska. I mean, so let me go back. Not... I'm sorry. Me neither. But so I like the warmth. That explains the cowboy hat. Yeah, I like the warmth. Yeah. It's too cold up here for me. 
I don't know. Mom wants to go to the beach. So you're not a Four Seasons person? Not really. No. I don't. I want to do try Alaska. Me and my friend want to go try to live up there. I heard it's beautiful up there. Yeah, he likes the uh, outdoorsy stuff. Outdoorsy stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Banger, right? When you make these. No. <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm not that good. I am though. I, I know some ladies love, you know, a man that that cooks right. Believe me, I know how to cook right. I'm able to cook a plenty of things right now. I'm selling myself. See, you see how this works. You know what I mean? I'm talking about me, right? What if I told you, oh, you know, actually, I know someone who, you know, is a really good baker. You know, my friend, he re he's really good at baking. You know, he's actually, you know, going to school for baking. Like, no, I'm talking about myself right now, ladies. Hi, you know. I'm a good baker, right? I know how to bake a lot of things, right? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I feel like mm -hmm. he should learn a thing from me. You know what I mean? But, he, I mean, never mind. Vincent and Barso, do not talk to me. Right? He likes to, uh... Do not talk to me, right? Outdoorsy stuff, stuff too. Mm -hmm. When you make these. No. <laughs> not that good. I'm not that good. I am, though. I like to bake. Yeah. What phone is that, man? <laughs> do you want a water or anything? My phone's re... Yeah. My, 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 I almost said his phone. I'm His heart's racing. Like My heart's thing. racing. Yeah. My heart's racing. It's probably the. It's probably. <laughs> Do you want to? The weight, you know. Water. I was just saying. I'm sorry, Vincent. I'm so. Sorry. I, I have bottles. Of water. A cup of water. So outdated, right? We have bottles. We have. So we have plastic I, I, water nowadays, Vincent. Right? Drink that, right? We don't have cups. I have bottles. Of Ew. So what do you want to do? You want to just hang out here? So yeah, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. So much TV. Sure. So awkward, man. Do you want to like watch a movie or yeah, TV? movies? Yeah, movies. Mm -hmm. No, movie. we don't. We don't, bro. Oh, this guy sucks. But that's what makes this good, right? Is that Vincent? He's trying his best, right? But the funniest part is that he he really. I mean, maybe it's just a me thing. I can sense that he's trying to be good or, or be cool, whatever, right? But it's not coming across. You know, I'm kind of judging his ability, right? But. It goes from him trying to be, you know, I guess attractive, I don't know, to him crying <laughs> about his miserable life, which don't even get me started. Uh, actually, I won't get started. I'll, I'll save it for later. Yeah. I'll um, save it for later. Do you like watch a movie or yeah, TV? Movies? Yeah, movies. Mm -hmm. What movies you got? Um, I mean, we can just get something on Netflix. Sure. Yeah. Shout out to Netflix, by the way. Uh, Stealing your fucking Here, you just hang out here for a sec. Um, wallet. I'm going to grab something. Hey, hey Tex, Tex, how you doing? How you doing? Why don't you come over here and see that the store for you? Yeah, I kind of feel like it. I figure about you. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing? That's a camera, by the way. Like, sorry, I always look at the, the, the scenes, right, when they make them. This is a camera. I'm like 99% sure it is. And I think this painting is also one, but I don't think so. I don't think this painting is one. But even though they blur it out, like, what's so... I don't know. Maybe that's something else. But anyway, I know this is a camera 100%. But anyway, I man, I love that intro. Hey, Tex. I don't think he called himself Tex at all, like, in his chat logs. But I might be mistaken, right? Um, I, I I rarely... Actually, not even rarely. I don't look at these, these guys' chat logs, right? And I've been told to look over some of them. You know, I feel like I wouldn't have the, the, the stamina to do something like that, right? But if you really want me to look at someone's chat logs, right, and read them out for you guys, just just put in the comments, right, who you want, and maybe I'll look into it, right? I don't know how long it would take because I feel like I would chop a lot, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Hey, no. you Recommend me some. Yeah, I kind of think it No, no. Right over here, please. Come. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You knew what was going to happen. Somebody was going to show up here. Somebody, Somebody was going to show up here. You know what? You know what? I have nothing to live for anyway. I have nothing to live for anyway. <laughs> what do you man, mean? Oh, man, oh, what a banger. Like, you know, I just have to... Okay, just a little bit of a, you know... A... a whatever it's called. I don't know. A, a caution. I don't know. I'm not laughing at him because he's depressed. I'm laughing at him because I think he's lying. And also, he's a predator. You know what I mean? Whoever is actually depressed and, you know, <laughs> is going through something like this, right? That, that's different, right? But in my first one, just to give you an example, right? In my first video, I got some very, um, you know, inspiring and, and you know, strong messages. Uh, not, well, like strong people that left comments, right? Talking about their struggles and stuff of how much they overcame, right? And they don't even have, look, Vincent does not have it 
half as bad as what some of these comments were, were telling me, right? So it's just there. There's no excuse for um for this, right? Vincent is using his like depression as an excuse. When you know, in my last video, a lot of people in the comments were telling me these like amazing stories of them overcoming stuff, almost in the same place that Vincent was, and they overcame it, right? I know not everyone has the same you know strength as some of you know some others, but it's just Vincent just seems like he's lying, right? So just as a you know, so you know, I'm not like making fun of him. Well, what do you mean? Yeah? Because of that, you know. My life's a mess. My life's a mess. <laughs> I failed high school. I, I have no motivation to, to finish, finish it. it. None of the pills about work. What do you do for a living? I don't have a job. job. <laughs> I'm a fuck up. I'm a fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I'm, what I'm finding so funny. I say these lines <laughs> to my friends. And I'm sure if any of them were watching, they would back me up. But I say these lines often. I'm like, you just shoot me. You know, the the whole, you know, I have nothing to live for, right? Like, I, I repeat these lines. They're so good because it's just so, it's so funny. Like, my friends don't like watching TCAP, right? They actually don't like it, which is very funny because this is what I do, you know? But they even they even know Vincent's lines and when I'm when I'm saying him right it, it's just they're, they're so good and quotable man so I quotable I don't have a job I'm a fuck up What do you do for a living? I don't have a job <laughs> I'm a fuck up <laughs> <laughs> I get how tough that is on ya. Look, I can understand how tough that is. Anya. But why does it make it okay? But why does it make it okay? I wasn't gonna do anything. But that's not what she you said. said you, I, know. I know. I want to be a cop. I wasn't going to do anything. I just want to. You want to be a cop? A cop. I have a friend. Well, then why don't you go join, join the, the police, police academy. academy or... I'm fat. I can't do anything. <laughs> Look, I had a father who was overweight. I, I get it. It's tough. tough. Banger, man. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> So, so good, right? Uh, and also, Vincent's whole, like, police thing, I believe it's actually true because there is a picture out there, actually, of Vincent wearing, like, a security outfit <laughs> at some, like, football game. Like, uh, I don't know if I have the picture with me right now, right? I don't know if it's... I'll see if I can show it on screen, but I probably can't. But if if I do make, which I will make the deep dive eventually, right, I will include those pictures because there's a lot of them. There's a handful of them. There's, like, four of them. But... Like I actually think he he does want to be one, right? His dad was a um a, a sheriff, right? Um, you know, I feel like he would want to do something like that, but it's it's all him, you know. Like there's nothing really holding him back. Like I understand he has that. I, I'm kind of spoiling, but he has like a diseased uh, grandfather. But you just can't let that hold you back. Like some of the stories that people were telling me is that they had to take care of someone who was sick, and they still overcame and became someone. You know what I mean? But you know, um, like, I don't know, like, maybe a, another thought will hit me, because I think I just forgot. Look, I had a father who was overweight. I, I get it. It's tough. It's tough. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Why does that make, that it, okay? make it okay? Oh! That scared the life out of Chris, man. It, is, it scared the absolute soul out of Chris, man. And it, okay. And I did mention my first one, but I'll stop mentioning it because it just doesn't make any sense. You're not going to watch the other one. <laughs> you know, we're watching this one. But a lot of people question why Vincent has a knife, right? It's more of a style thing than it is a utility thing, right? Um, it can be used for that. You know, it really originated from utility, right? Because there were some people in, you know, here in the South need the, these type of, you know, <laughs> tools and stuff, right? Knives and stuff. But it also is kind of like a symbol of, you know... It's it's like you know you know what I mean it's fashion, <laughs> so that's why he has one. You know it's kind of it fits the whole look. You know the whole cowboy look, but yeah, it, uh, I don't know. Look, I had a father who was overweight. I get it. It's tough. It's tough. It's Imagine if he tried try to stab Chris. That would be crazy. Still, that doesn't make it okay. It's okay to conduct yourself this way on social chat on sites social chat sites <laughs> and talk to a girl who's 12 years old oh, 12 don't even get me started bro 7th seventh, seventh, uh, 
Seventh grade, brother. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. I just like oh I always forget. I really do. <laughs> Twelve. Man, it's just you, you know what I mean? Some people actually do feel bad for this guy. Like, I'm not kidding. There's some people who legit defend this guy because you know of his whole little story. But bro, remember what the hell he's here for. He's here for a 12-year-old. Like, oh man, you know, last one we watched, uh, David uh, Hilbish. He came over for a 14-year-old girl. I know those are both real bad, but, like, the lower in age it gets, the worse it is. You know what I mean? And for the in this case, dude, 7th grade? Seriously? Like, that's insane, man. That, that is insane. Like, that's a... Boulder's old. What gradient? 7. Cool. And, and I, I've... You know, in the beginning of this video, there was, like, some messages that he was saying, dude, this guy is vile. Like, really repulsive. Like, someone who didn't... <laughs> You would not expect something like this from Vincent, really. Seriously. He is saying some really, really, like, deprived shit, right, to a 12-year-old. Like, that's insane. Like, how does it not click in your head? Uh, I mean, I could say that about everyone that we've watched on this show, but in this case, someone who is, you know, younger, Vincent is 19 years old, right? I feel like you would be a lot more knowledgeable of why this is bad, you know, over someone who's 50, right, and is just messed up in the mind, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, uh, come on, man. <laughs> seriously, oh, seriously. Like, like, imagine, you know, your entire class you graduated with, you know, finds out that you texted a toy girl. Like, that's insane. You know, and I'll you like say some guys. other stuff later. You said all this, right? Yeah. yeah. I meant a naughty pick. Crazy. Like, like, listen to this shit. No, don't remind me. I'm not that big, but I could fit inside you. Bro. Oh. Uh, like, bro, just listen to this. Like, anyone who who thinks I'm, like, lying, you know, which I don't think a lot of y'all are, are you don't think I'm lying, but he sent a picture of his privates, bro. Like, oh, my God, that's insane. You said all this, right? Yeah. <sighs> I meant a naughty pic. Naughty pic. You sent a I picture of yourself. I know. Don't, don't remind, remind me. me. Like, I'm not that big, but I could fit inside you. <sighs> Have you ever played with yourself? Bro. God. Christ. I mean, you see how this looks. <sighs> like, I look, look, <laughs> like I'm, I, I'm not kind of, I'm kind of defeated, right? I'm kind of defeated right now for some reason. But I feel like Vincent should understand how bad this is, right? There's messing up, and then there's like, you know, really messing up, and this is insanely messing up. Like, you're 19 years old. Like, how does it not click in your head that, you know, texting someone who's in middle school is crazy? You know, they, they say the whole, like, you know, of course, there's like a whole meme around it, which is a, a bad thing, right? But the whole, like, senior dating a freshman. Like, man. <laughs> like, you will probably understand that, right? I don't know if that was, like, a common thing, that you know, that was back in this day. But it doesn't matter. I feel like no matter how depressed you are, You'll never swoop down to being a predator. You know what I mean? Many times have these people used depression as a defense. You know what I mean? I never believe it. I really, really don't believe it at all. Because I don't think, you know, we've all had our low times, right? And especially, you know, a guy, right? Me. Um, who, someone who really doesn't acknowledge that they're, you know, they're down or they're depressed, right? I don't think in my saddest moments in my life, I've ever thought, you know what? I should date. I mean, or try to date or I should message a minor in this way. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm talking to, you know, I'm preaching to the choir. You know what I mean? I understand you guys are side with me, but it's just, I just got to put it in perspective. You know what I mean? Because Vincent could have because it could have avoided this entirely. He didn't have to be a predator featured on H HVP, you know what I mean? He could have lived on his life normally without ever being caught if he just, you know, controlled himself or even just realized how bad it is. But we're have here you now. We know you? we're here now. So I'm not that big, but I could fit inside you. <sighs> Insane. Have you ever played with yourself? Insane. I mean, you see how this looks. <sighs> <sighs> How did you get to this place? <laughs> Which place? This is just this me. Thing. Everybody's got personal problems, right? Yes. But that doesn't mean it's okay to do this. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't really decipher. I don't know if I did, but Chris puts it really well, actually. You know, everyone has personal problems. That doesn't mean you are allowed or, or you're, it's okay to be a predator. You know what I mean? But... <laughs> you get that right? Yeah. <laughs> how far did you drive today? An hour, hour no, and a half. An hour and a half. And how many other hour times have you done this? Never. Well, that's hard for me to believe, Vincent. She said she wanted a friend. I, I'm stupid. But there's no Pretty friends now. Ah, man, I hate that defense of the whole, I'm dumb, I'm an idiot, you know. Oh, I did it again. Because, <laughs> I don't, because th- you know the whole, like, you know, people have anger issues until they're put up against someone who can beat the shit out of them. You know what I mean? People, they 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 have, uh you know, I saw this one recently. I, I, like, I'm just <laughs> saying it, right? People have time blindness until, you know, it's time to clock out is one I saw on TikTok, but. Like, all these, like, oh, I'm dumb. I didn't know what I was doing, right? That works until a certain point, right? You can say that, but in this case, it doesn't count. Like, I don't think I'd be, oh, well, I just did a silly. You know, oh, I did a silly. I just, you know, I thought this was all funny. Like, seriously, seriously, I hate that he he says he's stupid. When in reality, this was a process. You know what I mean? This didn't just happen instantly. This wasn't on, on an impulsion. I don't know how long Vincent actually talked to the decoy, but I don't assume it was, like, for, like, 30 minutes and he was over. You know what I mean? He had an hour and a half long ride to get here and he didn't snap out of it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still, it's funny though. How far did you go? What an idiot, bro. An hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half. He is stupid. Never mind. He is stupid. And how many other times have you done this? He's a little. Never. Well, that's hard for me to believe. A little silly. She said she wanted a friend. I, I'm stupid. But there's no Pretty friends 19? I have one friend. He's always working. Nobody else. Stop. Look at the way I, way I dress and stuff. Nobody. Everybody thinks I'm weird. <laughs> well, the only weird thing I saw <laughs> is that you were trying to hook up with a 12-year-old girl. Name Jenny Claire. Jenny Claire. Uh, yeah, th- th- there was a lot th- uh, there to decipher, but the way he dresses, you can change that. His friend, fine, right? And and the whole the the, the part I'm stuck on is where he said she wanted a friend. How does that translate into sexting? You know what I mean? How does that translate into that? You know what I mean? Because I could talk to a friend, right? But how do I go from wanting to be friends with someone to stay saying stuff like that? You know what I mean? Very difficult, and it's a dumb excuse. <laughs> Nobody, everybody thinks I'm weird. Everybody thinks I'm weird. <laughs> well, the only I say that one too. That one's real good. Is that you were trying to hook up with a twelve-year-old girl, and you look like Name that. Jenna Claire? I mean, have you tried to get some help? With this stuff? With this stuff? Yeah. No, I never, never told anybody. anybody. How often do you go on the internet? To do the, but to do this stuff? With girls. With girls, not little, little girls. Not little little girls. girls. Well, what made you do with this stuff? I mean, just help me to understand what's going on in your mind. I don't know. That's the problem. That's the problem. I hate Ah, man. You know, it's going from me, like, laughing to me being kind of upset and yeah, mad. You know what I mean? But um, he goes from, I don't know, that's that's the problem, you know. But <laughs> it's it's all just a big lie, you know what I mean? It's just very hard to tell you. You understand, though, right? I don't believe you guys are, you know, idiots. You can definitely put two and two together, right? That's a lie. You know, I don't know, that's the problem. But he he not, does know. It's, it's a fantasy of his. Easily, easily, that's what it is. Not little girls. Well, what made you do with this yeah, and he was caught, and he was caught with CP. Like this wasn't on impulse at all, right? He had CP. That is not something you come across accidentally. You know what I mean? That's not. Oh, I, I'm a. I was a little bit of a dummy, right? I'm a little bit of an idiot, right? I did a little oopsie, right? No, <laughs> no. I don't know. That's, that's the problem. problem. Well, you gotta know, Vincent. Just don't check my you phone. Don't, don't check my phone. That's the problem. You get this as a felony. Right? <laughs> a felony. A felony, that's crazy. I mean, you got Landing yourself a felony when you're 19 is crazy. Like, what a quick way to ruin your life, you know what I mean? What a quick way to ruin your life. Pull it together. You gotta pull it together. You're gonna end up Where'd at you Subway or McDonald's. Catch Where? Catchman and Wappingers. Catch and Wappingers. Catch Falls. Yeah. People found... 
a pause <laughs> a pause on that people found his high school uh uh whatever it's called yearbook jesus christ my door opened to skip the shit out of me anyway that's why i don't lean on my door often but um i'm actually not in my yearbook <laughs> My yearbook from a high school, I'm not in it. I actually am not in it, like, at all. Um, I never took a picture for it, and I actually know I'm not in it. So, uh, you know, no one ever knows, you know, that I existed, right? That's kind of funny. But, uh, anyway, just a little fact from me, right? Catchman but... Wappinger's Falls. And also, putting Blast, the, the, the high school he went at, Catchman Wappinger's Falls. Address <laughs> here, this here, and that. Cap- Catchman Wappinger's Road you go to school? Avenue Catchman. Boulevard. Where? Catchman Wappinger's. Catchman Wappinger's Falls. Yeah. This or code is this? <laughs> you finish. Pause. No. I failed English. Uh, Crazy. Participation in government economics. I'm supposed to be doing them online. I never. I don't have any motivation to do anything. What? Bro. Oh. You know, I'm doing these videos, right? I understand it doesn't seem like it's a lot of work. But the whole possum edits, the the thumbnails, the, the you know, putting in, like, because these videos take, like, two hours to edit. Like, I'm just going to be straight up. Two hours to edit. It takes 30 minutes or, or even more to record. Sometimes I cut some stuff out. That's two, hour, two hours and a half, right? Then doing the, the possums, which is another 30 minutes, right? It takes me, like, three hours to actually set up the entire thing. But I'm doing two videos <clears throat> a week. And then also I have four classes to attend in college. You know what I mean? Like, it's... It's definitely doable. You know, it's not like, oh, I have no motivation to finish my work, right? I have a test to do, right, <laughs> in a couple of hours, right? He could definitely do it. And it's high school shit. You're 19. How hard is, is English? How hard is it to read a book and realize what they're telling you, right? It's not difficult. Economics, I'll give you that. History, whatever, participation. What is even, what is even that? I don't, I don't know what that is, right? It sounds simple enough. I don't know. Participate in class. I don't know. I'm supposed to be doing them online. I never, I don't have any Crazy. motivation. He's always to do blaming anything. everyone what else, man. What happened to your motivation? Just this depression is so, so crippling. Difficult. So good. Did you man. go see somebody, a doctor? A doctor. I'm seeing a. I, uh, well, I can recommend you a guy. His name's Doctor Maurice Wolin. I actually think he died by this point. Did he? This isn't twenty. Actually, I think he did die. Did he? No. Yes. No. Yes. I think he is. I think he's dead. What is he? Point. I think he's like a nurse. He's nurse practitioner. I'm seeing it. I, uh, what is he? I think he's like a nurse practitioner, kind of. He prescribed my medicine. And he, I'm not a big talker about my feelings, Swalk so he it. talks to me about it. When I go, he prolongs the appointment. I'm sweating. So you've been diagnosed with depression. Bipolar, Bipolar depression. depression. Bipolar. <laughs> it's a tough disease. Oh, man. Depression is no joke, right? But in this case, I don't know how you could blame this on your bipolar depression. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't think <laughs> in any case it could be like, oh, I'm very depressed. Let me sex up a minor, right? Crazy. How do you go from that step to the other one, right? But anyway, I was going to say, <laughs> when I first made my first video, I knew I wasn't, I know I wasn't going to mention it again, but I did say a nurse practitioner. I don't know how they were to prescribe you medicine, this and this and that, right? But I was told that a nurse practitioner is actually misleading in the name because they're actually more like doctors. Right, they they are very, you know, they have a, a lot of stuff they can do, right? But um, yeah, yeah. So he's pretty much kind of seeing a doctor ish person. You know what I mean? Diagnosed with depression. Bible with depression. Which is good. If you ever feel like you're depressed, right? Go see somebody. Don't don't hold that in. What's the point? I've been to a therapist and it was great. It really was. You know, it, it, some people are, will say, oh, it's for you know, for people who are rich, right? I don't come from rich family at all, right? When I went to a a you know, a therapist. We were low, you know, low class, right? The, 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 the lower class, <laughs> you know. But I still went because I needed it, right? Because it was for other reasons, nothing crazy. But it was like kind of like childhood. Uh, how can I say this? It was like kind of get me motivated to talk to people. It was just kind of more like recognize, um, you know, how to talk. I, like I don't, know, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, right? It was just. It was, it's like it's nice to I'm talk to someone, right? I'm a talker about my feelings, so he talks to me about it. When I go, he prolongs the appointment for me. So you've been diagnosed with depression? Bipolar depression. Bipolar, Bipolar depression. It's a tough But to, to talk more about the therapist situation, right? 
me going to therapy was actually like very very good i think it actually molded me into the person i am now you know what i mean <clears throat> it's it's really important like you'd be amazed how easy it is to talk to someone like that like they're trained to do that right they can't tell anyone you know your things and i would like to think they're honorable enough to keep your secrets but you know yeah like <laughs> talking to therapists are extremely easy because they really feel like your friends you know what I mean? It's very nice. Diagnosed with depression. Bipolar with depression. Bipolar depression. It's a tough disease. What do you take for it? I'm on uh, the Lexapro, Gabapentin, and uh, Adderall. It's supposed to give me Adderall. energy to want to do things, but I had fucked that up. I didn't realize what it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't seem like a dumb guy. Though. A dumb guy. He, he gave me ten milligram tablets to. Take start with ten twice a day. He says that doesn't work. Bump it up a dose. Bump it up a to dose. Two, two twenty to a two tens. So twenty two twice tens. a day. I bumped it up to thirty. He refilled the prescription. I didn't realize he refilled the prescription. That's why I'm I'm I, my I I said in the last message before I came, I'm eight, I have aches and stuff. I, have aches and stuff. I didn't realize when he refilled it, he bumped it up to thirty tablets. I could take just one tablet in the morning. And, one to twelve o'clock noon. Chris does not know I what the fuck he's talking about. So he keeps 100. shaking his head, but Chris doesn't know what he's saying. Um, I tried to kind of decipher what he did in the first video, but um, all it equates to is basically he <clears throat> was take taking a bigger dose than he um originally was taking, and he didn't realize it, so he kind of <clears throat> was taking too much of Adderall, right? And he eventually ran out of it, and the company's the insurance wasn't. Uh, going to going to refill it. Uh, they weren't going to refill the 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 order because he finished you know uh, medicine he was meant to have for a lot lo longer. You know what I mean? But that's kind of the the morning, summary of this. Twelve o'clock noon. I was taking three thirty, so I was taking one hundred and eighty a day. Three thirty. That's not that's even. A lot of that's not even one eighty. <laughs> What did that do to you? I was I was so antsy. I was angry at my dad. I was angry at everybody. I picked my fingernails to nothing. nothing. I've had withdrawal down for the last couple of days because he can't refill it because it's not October and now the fucking insurance company doesn't want to. It's it's about to be October, uh, so thirty twice a day extend the release because they say it's too high of a dose. But I'm fat, so it, it it never, the thirty me. didn't bother me. Bother me. <laughs> Even though I've been told that Adderall can't be weighted, <clears throat> it can be prescribed uh, you know in weight because it doesn't affect that right but in, he thinks it doesn't matter but you know uh, so it, I don't know. It never, the 30 didn't bother it me didn't bother <laughs> me. did you ever try to diet <laughs> I'm actually with the Adderall I lost weight I lost about uh, 20 pounds and I've lost 40 pounds since January that's pretty good <laughs> which is crazy like uh, imagine Vincent being 40 pounds heavier if you know he didn't lose this weight, right? He's already big enough as it is. Imagine him being 40 pounds heavier, right? It's not a healthy way to lose weight, but it's working, I guess, right? But it, I don't know. 20 pounds, and I've lost 40 pounds since January. That's pretty good. It seems like in that respect, you were heading in the right direction, but here you headed in the wrong direction. <laughs> That's an understatement. I swear How to God. How are you going to get back on track here? I go to jail. Get convicted. He, says he wants to try now a month with this this Adderall to see if it works. I just want to get shock therapy. Shock therapy. It's that bad. I don't. I, I sat on the floor and I cried Why? last night, the other night to my mom. I said I don't want to feel like this anymore. I'm really. I want to get up. I don't want to get out of the bed. Bed. What did she say to you? She, she cries. She feels, she feels horrible, horrible for me. me. And you live at home. I'm sure she wouldn't feel as horrible for you if she knew what you were doing today, Vincent. Like, imagine... Imagine your mom finds out you've been messaging a 12-year-old. Like, that's... Em beyond embarrassing, that's very, like... Shameful, right? Shameful. Your, your family... You know, you're supposed to care for your family, right? Um, I understand not everyone's families are great. But, you know, in, in a healthy family that Vincent has... I would feel so bad to disappoint my family, right? <laughs> like, and then especially in this way, right? Oh, I'm now a convicted sex offender, right? Like, imagine that shit. Imagine that shit. Imagine you come home and you're like, yeah, mom, uh, I got convicted of messaging a 12 year old. Like, ah, crazy. And I do, I do take care of my grandfather. My grandfather. He has Parkinson's. He has Parkinson's. How is he doing? 
at his best as he's going to get. He's gotten worse. Listen, I can I sympathize with, with all, all of that, that, except this. Who would have thought, you know? <laughs> Who would have thought having a, a, a supposed depressing life doesn't absolve you of being a predator? You know what I mean? A Pretty predator. Great. Right? You know better, Vincent. I mean, you shouldn't Just be sending pictures of your list. genitals I, to right. a 12-year-old girl, right? I, but you don't need to be told that. There's nothing else I can say, but I fucked up again. Well, how else, how else have you effed up? Effed up? Like... I'm so, I sound like a broken record. I'm sorry, but I don't think you need to be taught that sending your your weenie to a 12 year old is wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's just some things you just know. You know what I mean? There's just some things that you know are wrong. That you know, there are the the simplest of rules, right? Especially in law and in morality, right? You know what's wrong and right. Um, I don't know how Vincent seems to have just forgotten that it's incorrect to message someone who is below the age of 18. For sexual favors, you know what I mean? It's uh, like you can't just say you effed up, right? <laughs> that's a that's a oh, big f up. My life, everything. <laughs> everything. Do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? Not really. I like driving and I like smoking cigars, but I can't do that for the rest of my life. Why? Sorry. Because I need to get a job and I need to get structure in my life. life. And... What are you gonna go from here? This is not a good day for you. What else is what new? Else is new. It's never, it's never a good, a good day. day. <laughs> When did this <laughs> That's the best one. The that's that's the one I use with my friends the often. What else is new? It's never a good day. So yeah. good, man. When did this start for you? When did you get off the, track the depression? The depression? Yeah. Like a, since I'm 12, 13, I think it started. I've been through four or five doctors. Doctors? Millions of different pill combinations. That's why I wanted shock therapy. <laughs> I posted on the Whisper app uh, last week because I've been feeling like having the withdrawal and stuff. I said I just want to kill myself. And uh, the nurse from, uh, I guess she's in England, she said that there's a shock therapy. And I looked it up and I told my doctor about it, but he doesn't want to do it. And he wants to wait and see if the pills work. I'm tired of seeing it. I was also told that this shock ter- therapy thing wasn't as uh, actually as it seemed. You know, some people were telling me that it was more of a, like, um personality or like you know um you know personality uh uh how can i say it's like uh routine changes and stuff i think is what I, I remember what that was but the thing is is that i feel like vincent is looking for a magical cure that's just gonna rid him of all his problems the thing is is like this medicine can help you feel better the thing is is that it's not gonna it's not gonna fix you right it's not gonna fix you in your mind, right? It's it's gonna help you take those steps forward, right? Um, you know, everyone's been through some moments like this in their lives, and it's never been where oh, I take this pill and I feel like I'm able to talk to everyone, I'm sociable, I feel energized, I feel like I can do this, and I feel like I can lift a mountain, right? Never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. But I told my doctor about it, but he doesn't want to do it, and he wants to wait and see if the pills. Work. But again, he I could be lying. Pills work. Just as a whole, right? As a whole, he could be lying. Well, what, what you did here is hard to excuse, Vincent. <laughs> Tell me about it. But I hope you get help with all your other stuff. I'll help you with all your stuff. I just want to die. My life is miserable. My, my, my life is miserable. Nobody wants you to die. <clears throat> God, grown man, right, relax. Go. Suck it up. <laughs> oh, man, haven't we all heard that, right? Uh, but in this case, just suck it up, man. Stop crying, right? You're a grown ass man. I understand, like you're, in, you, you believe you're in this big trouble, which he is. But he's actually in more trouble than he actually thinks he is. But st- relax, man. Relax. Stop being so dramatic. <laughs> I'm just, I sound so dumb right now. But you get what I'm saying, right? Like you really started sobbing in the middle of this conversation. Like, come on, man. Isn't this shit embarrassing? Nobody wants you to die. <laughs> I wonder, right, you know. That's it. Listen. Listen. There's some people over there who are going to yeah. get you on the next step to get better, okay? <laughs> okay. Tell me about it. I, w- like I was going to say, I wonder how nervous Nelly was <laughs> watching this in the back. Because I think she has a, a way to see what's happening, right? Imagine she's sitting there like, 
but god this guy is pathetic right like also who put a teapot on the on the stove right someone really wants some tea right it's probably bulletproof lorry right who knows I take no glee no glee in, in any of this. I, I take no glee in any of this. Sure. I got two boys, you know. Yeah, shout out to so Chris and his sons, by the way. Will you look at me for a minute? Man to man. Will you promise to get some help? Please. 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 This two, two shall pass. pass. Bang your fucking you guy. help. Okay? Do you promise me? I wish I just had a heart attack, but I was. Oh my god. god. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Do you promise me you'll get help? Yes. yes I, don't I don't want, want to feel like, like this okay. anymore. With this, any, any of this. this. Okay. So can we make this a turning point for you? Yes. Is dark, dark as, as this looks right now. Dark. dark. Okay. It's funny. But the, the, you know, there's no way to go. But up from here. <laughs> go easy. Go easy. Go easy. So you will get help. You promise me. Will you do me a favor? Will you leave, leave, the knife the knife <laughs> leave the knife right here. Take your hat and glasses. Glasses. And He's also blind. Right what a loser. What a nerd. I'll get the coat. I'll get the coat. I'll get the coat. I'll get the coat. <laughs> Man, I swear to God. You know Chris didn't want the, want the cameras to come out. I honestly think in his mind when he was like, oh, you promised me to get some help. I think in Chris Hansen's mind, he was like, okay, well, this is not going to come out. You know what I mean? I think in his mind, his mind, he really was like, okay, this guy, as you know, sobbing and crying about his problems, this can't come out, right? Especially over the the um, the Texas uh, district attorney or something like that. Um, uh, Louis Condre is that him? Where he took his own life in the show of uh, To Catch a Predator, and it got the show canceled. Um, and they showed it, right? They showed it and they got, NBC got sued for it. And that's what ended the show. I think, and a lot of people have been saying this. I don't know if it was confirmed or something, but everyone thinks that Chris Hansen didn't want to show this because he didn't want a situation like that again, like that again, you know, and to that, you know, this actually never actually came out, right? Part of the HVP lineup um, he, uh, I almost said Hanson. Uh, Vincent Ambrosio was not part of it. Vincent was not part of the group. This was released years after the actual sting actually came out because Vincent had promised to get help and he actually never did. So that's kind of why we're here. And, you know, I really think he would have never released it if Vincent actually got help. Look at that ass, by the way. Yo, bro, thick, bro. I'm sorry. Which way? Which way? Straight I was gonna wait a little bit more, but um, yeah, he really thought he escaped me again. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm just on a winning streak here. Which way? But which way? But Rod Knight is right here, hiding behind the cameraman. Right? You would think he would be in front or something, right? Like you know, pushing him away out the way, protecting Chris. By the way, Chris is tall as hell. By the way, but yeah, Rod Knight is right here. You know, caught him again, just ca casually catching Rod Knight again. The arrest. Stop right there, sir, please. Sir, please. Uh, yeah, Just shoot oh, me. Just shoot me. Just shoot me. You got anything on you? Nice tattoo, I guess. Where's that? In the kitchen. Oh. Anything in your pockets? Anything sticking? Anything sticking? Uh, phone and stuff in there. Nothing in your jacket. God, don't, I don't even remind, remind me of the jacket, man. Of oh, the coat. Open, open. Atta boy, ew. Okay. All right. okay. Where's no. your uh, knife? Do you got it? It's in the kitchen. On the it's in the there kitchen. So, okay. Nice ass shot, by the way. But, again, I said it last time. These are some nice boots. <laughs> you know, they look pretty good. I like them. Nothing else, right? Wouldn't wear them, though. You know, especially if you're this big. Don't wear boots if you're this fucking big. Don't wear an, an outfit like this if you're that big. Whose back is shaped like this, man? Someone will be right with you, sir, okay? <laughs> Boy, I wish you would in a minute, bro. You right back there, man? Yeah, we're good. So if I turn around when none of this happened? What's that? If I turn around, none of this would have happened. We'll talk about that a little bit, okay? I'm 
I, I can't answer all that stuff. See, it's weird that he's thinking about that right now. You know what I mean? He's thinking if he would have never came into the house, he would have been fine. That's not how that works. But it would definitely look better in your court case, right? When you actually were like, oh, I can't do this, right? I can't do this. I got to go, right? That would definitely look a lot better than you just actually just sitting down and being like, yeah, we'll watch a movie, right? It's okay. a better look, I guess, I but still. It's stupid. Yep. All right, let's try to relax, all right? <laughs> I'm Detective Irizarry. My name's Beth. Shout out to Beth, by the way. Vincent? Okay. Call me Vince. Yeah, yeah. My guy, Vince. Yeah. That's cute. That's right. If you lean maybe a little bit forward, are you leaning on him? Because it's going to hurt you. You can even turn, almost turn sideways if you want. Um, we're going to process you for what happened today. We're going to speak to you about it. <laughs> he looks so dead, man. It looks so good, man. It's such a real why? Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, look. It's Rod Knight, man. Oh, it's so good, man. What a beggar. Look at him, man. He looks so damn cool. Rod Knight is so cool, man. He really is. You work. I take care of my friend. That's cute, I guess. Is that your full-time job? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, much. Full -time job. Job. Yeah, we put an addition on last year. That's cute, I guess. Built it ourselves. That's cute. Sorry, disability and disease Parkinson's. Imagine, <laughs> imagine like you're one of these cars in the back, right? And you're like, oh man, gee, I can't wait to go to work, or I can't wait to go to McDonald's and get myself a a you know a Big Mac. And the the person in front of you has one of the most popular um, predators that you know, at least for me, you know, Vincent Ambrosio, right? Banger. Sorry, With the windows down. So what we're going to do is go into booking, um, we're going to process you, and, you know. I would love to be here. You know, I would have loved to be here. I really would have. You know, imagine if you had to work this type of job. It would be so fun. Like, catching predators, that's fun right there. That's fun. We'll talk a little bit about it, and we uh, probably like, just speak to you privately. Yeah, we'll and break the hearts of predators, man. Some of the best. But yeah, okay, this is the entirety of the interrogation, right, apparently, according to this guy, um, which who uploaded was a Thunderhead, whatever uh, that means. But anyway, that'll be it for this video, right? I think we've been going on for a, for a little bit. It's been a long time. At least it feels like it's been like a long time, a long time. But anyway, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Um, a deep dive will come soon. That is who I'm looking at, uh, Vincent. Um, but yeah. We'll, it will be super fun, right? We'll look at his fo phone records, at least some of them. His interrogation. Actually, no, I'll leave the interrogation off. But I'll talk about him because he actually... I think he recently had, like, a a new RSO picture of him upload, uploaded. But anyway, we'll catch you some other time. And uh, have a good day, right? Goodbye. <laughs>